Most elected politicians make me sick. Not all. There are some good ones. We often have them on this show. It's no coincidence that the bad ones don't want to come on this program. They know that we will ask them tough questions. Tonight, we invited Republican Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to appear on this program. Republicans Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger, too. Three high-profile anti-Trump Republicans who have turned their back on the president. I had questions for them. Kinzinger and Cheney joined eight other Republicans voting to impeach the president. It's no surprise those two, including McConnell, declined our request for an interview. You see, the three Republicans I just mentioned never liked the president in the first place. So now, while he is perceived to be down, they will kick him, they will stomp on him, all in an effort to try to somehow use this to their own political advantage. They would rather please the Washington establishment, the lobbyists, the ruling class, than they would appease all of you, the voters. Yes, Mitch McConnell, Liz Cheney, Adam Kinzinger, and all the others who voted to impeach the president are what is wrong with American politics today. Politicians putting self-interest over national interest. Looking at the impeachment article uh, and knowing that the president incited an insurrection and now, you know, steps out and claims he bears no responsibility. If this is not risen to the level of impeachment, I don't know what is. What a joke. But that just isn't true, what he said there. The president didn't incite anything. The timeline of events prove it. So do his words. Still, we are now getting word after the House vote to impeach. Senator Mitch McConnell is, quote, open to it as well. To me, this signals a clear indication that at age 78, with six years ahead of him before re-election, Mitch McConnell doesn't care about President Trump or the fact that President Trump helped him get re-elected. In Washington, today proves there is no loyalty, except, of course, to the career entrenched bureaucrats who want to return to business as usual. So what is the play here? Let me give you a little insight into how I think the Democrats are thinking right now. Nancy Pelosi doesn't actually care if President Trump is convicted during the impeachment proceedings. She just wants him damaged, so beat up that many old guard Republican voters will also turn on the president. Why? Because to Pelosi and Schumer, it's all about 2024 now. They don't want President Trump running as a Republican if he runs. What they want him running as is as a third-party candidate. So he steals votes from Republicans, making a unified Democrat party much more powerful than a fractured Republican one. And once it becomes clear that this is the path the president will take, like a Christmas miracle, his social media accounts will all be unlocked because that's where his power comes from. They will actually give it back to him because they want him bashing the establishment Republicans. It's the same playbook they used during the primary in 2016. They gave President Trump an estimated $5 billion in free media coverage because they thought he would make a fool out of himself. Well, they miscalculated. But then he was running as a Republican. Now, if he runs as a third-party candidate, which I know so many of you want him to do, here's the problem. Neither he nor the Republicans would likely win because they split each other up. They cannibalize themselves. The Democrats know this. I'm sorry to say it, but I believe it's reality. Which brings us to Mitch McConnell. He doesn't want President Trump running as a third-party candidate because he knows it would lead to a Democrat victory again, which is why I believe to him impeachment and maybe even a vote to bar President Trump from running again is what McConnell might want. You see how it works in Washington? It's evil behavior. So here is my advice to Republicans in Washington and beyond. Do not fall for Nancy Pelosi's trap. The president of the United States incited this insurrection, this armed rebellion against our common country. He must go. He is a clear and present danger to the nation that we all love. Oh, give me a break. She knows exactly what she's doing. Republicans, I want you to know what you need to do. You need to unify around the president. 
a man who has done nothing to incite violence and everything to restore American greatness. Embrace the president and his long list of accomplishments. That goes to every United States senator out there, too. Welcome him to run in 2024. If a Republican wants to challenge him, then have at it. That's how America works. But don't try to destroy a man who has sacrificed so much simply because you think it's the right political play. That me-first attitude is what the president exposed over the past four years, and yet now it appears the swamp is back, baby, and it's stronger than ever before. Makes my stomach churn. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.